Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a third quarter earnings results analysis for Align Technology. And as we can see, this stock has not been performing that well over the last year. It's down about 75% in the same time period that the S&P 500 is only down 20%. So it's definitely up there in terms of one of the worst performing stocks this past year, up there with stocks like Meta Platforms, which has also fallen by about 70% over the last year. And we can also see from the five year chart that they're down about 27% and even more so from their all time highs of around $719 per share. They're now trading at about $175 per share. So in this video, I'm just going to look into a quick little article that I found talking about some of the earnings announcements that came out for Align Technology for the third quarter. I'm going to look at their financial statements to get a better understanding of the financial health of the company. And then lastly, I'm going to figure out what the intrinsic value per share of Align Technology is using a discounted cash flow model. So thanks in advance for leaving a like on this video definitely helps this video get recommended to more people on YouTube. So thanks for that, and let's get right into it. So we can see right here that in this article, it's titled, Why Align Technology Stock Got Hammered Today, and it was released when Align Technology released their earnings about a week ago. And we can see the two points that they make right off the bat include the fact that in the third quarter, their earnings results fell short of analysts' expectations, and on top of that, they didn't repurchase any shares in the third quarter of 2022 like they usually do. So that might have contributed to analysts thinking that Align Technology might not have as much faith in the recovery of their own stock at these prices as they should have if they were more optimistic about the future performance of their stock price. And so we can see right here that in this paragraph, they point out that when Align Technology announced their earnings about a week ago, as we can see right here, their stock price tumbled 18% in one day, and it's down about 72% year to date. And then on top of that, we can see that they point out that when Align Technology announced their earnings, they pointed out that their revenues were $890 million, down 12% year over year, and they basically pinned this decline in their revenues on unfavorable foreign currency exchange rates. But clearly, considering the fact that their clear alignment shipments are down about 12.5% year over year, it obviously shows that business is slowing down for Align Technology right now. And so right here, this is their income statement from their third quarter earnings results for 2022. They're comparing their 2022 results to 2021. And we can see right here, as I pointed out in the article, their net revenues were about $1.015 billion in the third quarter of 2021. And in 2022, it was only $890 million. So it's obviously a decrease of about 12.4%. And if we look at their bottom line net income here, we can see their net income is down from about $180 million to $72 million. And so <clears throat> that's a decrease of about 59.8% year over year. So it's no reason or it's no wonder why Align Technology is down so much over the last year. If we look at their financial statements, their net income is down more than 50% year over year. And then we can see that their earnings per share comes down from about $2.28 to about $0.93 cents per share. So obviously, according to their income statement, business has not really been booming that much over the last year for Align Technology. And so if I go to page five here, we can see in their balance sheet, they're comparing their balance sheet for September 30th, 2022 to December 31st, 2021. And over that time period, their total assets have decreased slightly from $5.94 billion to $5.91 billion. And we can see that the majority of their business is financed by equity as opposed to liabilities. Their liabilities decreased from about $2.3 billion to $2.2 billion, and their total stockholders' equity increased from about $3.62 billion to $3.69 billion. So there hasn't been really that much change in their balance sheets from December 31st to September 30th of 2022. And lastly, if I go to page 8 here to their cash flow statement, we can see that they're comparing the nine months ended September 30th, 2022 to the nine months ended September 30th, 2021. And during that time period, the cash provided by their operating activities decreased from about 900 million to about $424 million. So 
that's an increase of more than 50% in their net cash provided by their operating activities year over year. And then on top of that, we can see from their financing activities that they've repurchased in the first three months of 2022, about 275 million shares or $275 million worth of shares outstanding in their company. But keep in mind, as their article pointed out at the start, they didn't actually repurchase any shares in quarter three. So all of this share repurchase right here occurred during the first half of 2022. So it would have been more if they repurchased more shares in quarter three, but we'll see what happens in quarter four if they'll go ahead and repurchase more shares at the current depressed share price for their company. And so now I want to go into this discounted cash flow model to figure out what the intrinsic value per share for Align Technology could potentially be. Yahoo Finance is estimating that this company is going to grow at a growth rate of about 43% compounded annually over the next five years. And so I was conservative and I cut that value in half for the next five years after that. Looking for a minimum return on our investment of around 10%. They had about $770 million of free cash flow in 2021. They currently have about $990 million of cash on their balance sheet after subtracting their debt, and they have about 78.2 million shares outstanding. And so with these metrics in mind, their intrinsic value per share comes out to be about $680 per share with a 50% margin of safety of around $341 per share. And so that means that Align Technology, according to these growth rates of about 40% and 20% over the next decade, their share price is trading well below a 50% margin of safety relative to their intrinsic value per share at the moment if they grow at these growth rates right here. So that's a pretty steep buying opportunity for Align Technology. And if the company continues to repurchase shares in the future, then obviously if their market capitalization increases with more or more shares being repurchased, which means less shares outstanding, that's going to increase the share price for Align Technology in the long run. And so it's possible that buying at this share price right now might present a really strong buying opportunity from a value investing perspective. And so on the right hand side here, I compared them to some of their other competitors in the healthcare industry, like 3M and Henry Schein or Sheen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but I compared these three companies against each other. And we can see that across the board, Align Technology has higher gross profit margins, net profit margins, and return on assets. So they're definitely dominating the competition in terms of a industry analysis perspective by a lot. We can see that 3M comes in second place at 46%, Henry Schein at 29%, but Align Technologies gross profit margin is 74%. So they have much better pricing power relative to their competitors in this industry. So in terms of comparing them to their competition, Looks like online technology presents a pretty good buying opportunity in that regard. And then in terms of an intrinsic value per share analysis, if they're able to retain a growth rate of around 40% as Yahoo Finance is predicting for the next five years or so, then that means that their intrinsic value per share is definitely way above their current trading price, which would also put them at a pretty good buying opportunity from an intrinsic value analysis perspective. So. Definitely interested to keep my eye on Align Technology. We'll see if business picks up for them in the future, because if it does, then that means that this stock could be presenting one of the strongest buying opportunities in the market right now. But I'm not sure exactly what to think of it. I'd love to know what everyone watching this video thinks about Align Technology. Is it a good buy right now, or are you just going to wait to see where it goes from here? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone in the next one.